Trent with FrontStretch.com here with Josh Balicki this weekend at the Roval. Um, at the time of this interview, you're uh, racing with Joe Gibbs Racing this weekend. Um, just talk a little bit about that opportunity and how it came about because, you know, this is a, a big deal for, for, for you and everything. Yeah, obviously, I'd say the biggest of my career. Um, super excited. Ran Portland with them earlier in the year. Uh, but the conversation actually started last year. Um, I had a sponsor that we were racing a cup part-time and it was a relatively big sponsor. And, I really wanted to go try to win races, um, so we had we had reached out to several different teams, uh, but Gibbs was kind of at the top of that list. And uh, to our surprise, it actually came back and said, "Yeah, we're, we're interested in talking uh, about numerous races for next year." Um, the sponsorship deal ended up going somewhere else, and I, I kept in touch with with Gibbs and, and Steve D'Souza, and he reached out to us earlier in the year. Uh, before Portland, he said, "Hey, we have we have a handful of open races, uh, two being road courses, which obviously is my background of, of racing. So uh, those are pretty easy picks. I, I really tried to put together a couple other races with Gibbs. Um, just it's it's so hard to find sponsorship dollars at, at this level for this this price. Um, but yeah, I mean Portland went really well. Uh, I, I felt like we had a, a top three car all day there. I learned a lot, and here you know the goal is to try to try to win the race." Yeah, so a driver like you, you know, getting this opportunity, you know, do you feel like this is like the perfect time for you to show your skill set, which you can do? Because a lot of people may not know, you know, the the I guess the peak of your talent and what you can do in a race car. Uh, do you feel like you know, you know, getting this kind of equipment, this kind of car and stuff, you can really, sh you know, just go hard as you can and show everybody what you can do as a driver? Yeah, I do. I think a lot of the garage probably knows um, I favor the road courses though, um, and and I do quite well on them. You know, most of all my starts other than these two races have been with smaller teams and we've had some decent success uh, with some of those smaller teams but never been able to fight for the win um, so you know I think if we fight for the win here obviously that's going to open up more more team owners eyes um, but at the end of the day it's still a road course and it's a, a, a mainly a, a circle track series right so uh, I think the conversation will probably change a little bit more if if I ran this well on, a, on an oval and hopefully we can do that next year but yeah I mean def definitely if, if we if we win the race I think that changes uh, the conversation for myself for next year and hopefully open up more opportunities and uh, more conversation with sponsors too. And that's something else I wanted to talk to you about is uh, the story that about you, you know, finding all the sponsors on your own and everything. And, and that's not an easy thing to do still. So, so like your weekly process of doing that, when you have a races or you have races coming up, you know, what is the process of somebody, you know, looking for these sponsorships and, and getting these deals done as a driver? Yeah, so, you know, like a weekend like this, where I'm, I'm down here and I'm on the sim quite a bit throughout the week and I'm at the, at the shop, I'm not really focusing too much on sponsor support. I'm focusing more on, on being a driver. Uh, but there's weekends where I'm at my house in Wisconsin where I live, kind of separated from the industry, and I just, I'm a salesman, you know, for, for 50, 60 hours of the week on my computer at my desk, just sending out sponsor proposals, cold calls, whatever I need to do, making sure my sponsors right now are happy. But yeah, I'd say 95% of the sponsors that I've had on my cars throughout my 200 plus races in NASCAR are, are um, you know, from my hard work. Yeah, and there's a lot of companies out there, you know, whether they're localized to a, a region that you're racing in, uh, maybe like you mentioned Portland, maybe there's a, a sponsor based out of Oregon you can hook up with. So like, how are you, you know, because there's a lot of companies, how are you finding these companies you know what is the, the research process and I'm sure there's a lot of drivers on the smaller level maybe in ARCA or in the cars or even that their local racetrack you know trying to find sponsorship so you know someone who's doing it who, who's racing in Xfinity right now um, you know how do you find these businesses? Luck honestly, <laughs> I, I, honestly you know some of my biggest supporters uh, one being Trimtex Draw Products which is on my car and they're sharing with Insurance King Trimtex uh, so I worked at a drywall distribution yard uh, before my time as a professional race car driver and we sold Trimtex products and I knew just from hearing about it that the owner of Trimtex raced himself, sponsored numerous different cars, sponsored drag cars, sponsored sports cars and uh, we were able to put, the, put that connection together and, and Joe who owns Trimtex has become a really close friend of mine now too. You know, He's a big supporter of mine but he's a close friend. Next weekend I'll be racing with him. I'll be with him for five days. I walk into the next week and racing a Porsche with him. So it's a really cool relationship. I get to drive with him and he also supports my career. Insurance King was just a random Facebook message and I saw their I saw their ads all over Facebook. Um, in 2019 I was racing Chicagoland and we didn't have a sponsor for the Xfinity race and I saw their ads all over Facebook. I knew they were local to that racetrack 
So I literally just shot them a Facebook message and they came back and they were interested. And honestly, that was the start of something which it's massive now. I mean, they've done, you know, five, six years, 50 plus races, but they were on my car that weekend for the truck series race, the Xfinity race and the cup race. I did triple duty that weekend. So, um, you know, that just started from a Facebook message and I got my first NASCAR start with the Facebook message too, to, <laughs> to bike the racing in 2016. So, um, I think the main thing is just never be afraid to ask, but uh, some of them, some of it's just luck. Yeah, and uh, just the mental, the mental aspect of it. You know, 50, 60 hours. You said, you know, doing this, you get a lot of no's, I'm sure as well. So, yeah. you know, how do you stay anything, any kind of sales job, you get that. So, you know, how do you? This is your like your livelihood. So, how are you, you know, mentally prepared for the no's? Maybe two hours of just straight no's. Maybe you know, like how are you like? staying motivated yeah, through that. I, I'd say more than that. I'd say for every 100 pitches you make, you're going to get maybe one or two answers back. It, it, most of those are going to be no's, unfortunately. Um, I mean, there's times where I just feel like like defeated. And it's like, you know, I've worked all week. I've worked two weeks, three weeks, and I haven't gotten anything new. Um, and that's that's really tough. Uh, but you just got to keep working. And then you get that one yes. Like this year, one of those being a, a new sponsor of mine, which is Rita's Italian Ice. Uh, they've been on my car now. They'll be on my car four races this year, and I found them the week of Pocono. And you know, you get that one yes, and you turn that into a brand new relationship, and then all that hard work's worth it. Well, Josh, thanks for your time today. Good luck with your rest of your racing endeavors and your sponsorship. I'm Caleb Barnes with FrontStretch.com. Come back soon for more great racing videos, and if you like us, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.